Europeans and mostly white people have never accepted that their genetic roots meet with black people. Even if there is profound evidence about the first humans rise in Africa, little do white believe their ancestors were black. However, what if we say that the first white man was actually black, having the same distinctive features as black Africans have today? That's where the story of Cheddar Man comes in, a first inhabitant of Europe whose fossils have been found in Gauff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England. London's Natural History Museum extracted his DNA and matched it with present-day Europeans' DNA. They found similarity, which proves that all Europeans might be Cheddar Man's descendants, who was himself black. But what more does Cheddar Man's skull reconstruction tell? Welcome to a new episode of Black Culture Diary, a channel where we talk about less known and hidden black history, culture, arts, and lost civilization. We scrutinize history here to bring the black culture back on the surface again. We encourage you to join our community in supporting and building a strong black history education medium. In this episode, we will reveal evidence which proves the first white man was actually black. Let's get started. Back in 1903, when the drainage system of Gauff's cave was being revamped, the working team found the skeleton of a human. At that time, nobody knew who it was. People guessed that perhaps it might be the grave of someone who lived around the area. However, later on, research on the skeleton revealed that it was about 10,000 years old. London Natural History Museum and various other research centers carried out research on this skeleton, which was now known as the Cheddar Man. DNA samples were collected and matched with the present-day European population's DNA. Not only that, but since it was a skeleton, it was decided that the skull will be reconstructed. As a result, using the latest cutting-edge technology, researchers completely reconstructed the skull, giving it the same appearance as it would have 10,000 years ago. One thing became clear. The Cheddar Man, who came from Africa, had dark skin, black hair, blue eyes, and a short height. Not only that, but DNA studies revealed striking matches between present-day European populations. That's where we come to the out of Africa theory, which says that all humans have one descendant, black Africans. This widely accepted theory says that the initial population of black humans gave rise to other races and variations of people over thousands of years. For a significant period in history, the world was inhabited solely by black individuals. However, approximately 7,700 years ago, the birth of white Europeans, Asians, Arabs, and other light-skinned variants occurred. Amid all this, we have the Cheddar Man, who put all negating factors to this theory to rest. Analysis of Cheddar Man's nuclear DNA revealed that he belonged to the Western European population of his time. He likely exhibited characteristics commonly found in that population, such as lactose intolerance, light eyes, possibly green, but potentially blue or hazel, dark brown or black hair, and dark skin. Genetic tests conducted on Cheddar Man's remains identified some of his direct descendants among the local population in Cheddar and Somerset. The examination of Cheddar Man's remains revealed that he was relatively short by today's standards, measuring around 5 feet 5 inches, and likely died in his early 20s. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. In 2015, genetic studies conducted by Harvard University further contributed to the understanding of the origin of white people from black populations. The researchers focused on analyzing ancient European modern human fossils and remain. Their findings supported the conclusion that white people evolved from black populations. This evolutionary shift occurred as black humans migrated to Northern Europe, where they encountered a colder and icier climate that differed from their original habitat. Even regions like Switzerland were affected by the Ice Age during that era which lasted from approximately 130,000 years ago until about 10,000 years ago. The colder climate reduced sunlight exposure, making vitamin D production less likely. Additionally, the presence of melanin, which protected against excessive sunlight, further limited vitamin D synthesis during infrequent sunny days. The initial deficiency in vitamin D, resulting from both the protective effect of melanin and reduced sunlight, led to disabilities, fractures, 
and premature deaths among the first Africans in Northern Europe. Extensive research has indicated that white people developed a higher capacity for producing vitamin D when exposed to the same amount of sunlight compared to black people. This crucial adaptation allowed the bodies of the early Africans in Northern Europe to gradually reduce their melanin production, leading to lighter skin tones over time. The journey of human evolution and the transformation from predominantly black populations to the diverse range of races and variations observed today is a testament to our shared history. It highlights the remarkable adaptability of our species in response to changing environments. These scientific discoveries and studies continue to shape our understanding of human origins, providing a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all human beings. Throughout history, black people have not only been present in Africa, but have also had a significant impact on the global population. Around 50,000 years ago, the first Africans to arrive in Europe were known as the original Eurasians. These early Africans brought two genes, SLC24A5 and SLC45A2, which played a crucial role in determining the skin color of white people. The population in Scandinavia, which began approximately 7,700 years ago, faced colder conditions compared to other regions in Europe. The initial white-skinned humans in Scandinavia carried a gene which is associated with blue eyes, blonde hair, and white skin. This process, known as natural selection, gradually led to the whitening of Europe around 5,800 years ago. Research indicates that these genes that made Africans in Europe turn white are albinism genes that originated in Africa. The OCA gene, which stands for oculocutaneous albinism, demonstrates that nature favored and spread albinism in Europe due to environmental constraints. Therefore, albinism, which results in white skin, originally emerged in Africa. Furthermore, the diversity of hair color and eye color among Europeans can also be traced back to their African origins. A variety of hair colors, including blonde, can be found in Africa as well. Similarly, the presence of green and blue eyes among Europeans can be attributed to the OCA2 gene, which originated in Africa. Our human population encompasses individuals of various sizes, shapes, and colors, including those with straight hair, both among black and white people. The spiral-shaped hair commonly seen in Africans is an adaptation to the intense sunshine in Africa, protecting the head from excessive heat. On the other hand, the cold temperatures in Europe led to the growth of hair that covered the external respiratory organs, protecting them from cold and diseases. It is important to note that black people exist all over the world, and some possess naturally straight hair. Historical accounts such as those of ancient Sudan describing black people with long and straight hair validate the presence of black individuals with straight hair in Africa and even in places like India among the Fulani people. This suggests that the straight hair of Europeans was a result of a genetic mutation influenced by weather conditions during a particular period. The concept of blackness expands beyond Africa as evidenced by ancient black Syrians located in the Middle East and the Gerard people of southern India who are said to have migrated from Africa over 100,000 years ago. The original Asians were also black, although modern-day Eastern Asians are often described as yellow. The slanted eyes, a characteristic associated with Asians today, developed due to their adaptation to the stormy mountains of North Asia, where high altitudes, bright light, and cold winds shape their facial features. Interestingly, these Asian facial features are predominantly found among the key origin people of Africa, who are descendants of the branches and pygmies of the Great Lakes region. The Arab population of today emerged from a mixture of white populations and originally black people from Arabia, known as Sabians. Approximately 100,000 years ago, Africans embarked on their migration outside the African continent, entering Yemen and what is now known as Palestine. They were the first modern humans to inhabit Asia, gradually moving from Israel to Japan. While Africans dominated Asia, other Africans traveled via ocean currents across the Atlantic Ocean and arrived in what is now known as Brazil around 50,000 to 65,000 years ago. This migration ultimately led to the population of the Americas, making the first Americans black. The study of human DNA has played a vital role in establishing our shared ancestry and migration history. It is now well established that all people outside of Africa are descended from ancestors who left the continent more than 60,000 years ago. The first modern humans who ventured into Europe around 50,000 years ago possessed dark skin and possibly night vision. Today, approximately 2% of a typical European genome consists of Neanderthal DNA, 
which can also be found in typical African genomes. What do you think? Will the white people all around Europe believe that they are descendants of black Africans? Or will they still be in denial? Let us know your opinion on how Cheddar Man has ended all controversies. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.